Oh, fucking got you, mate! I just killed Mozzie. <laughs> It's been a while. Took a little bit of a break. That was unintentional. But we're back and we're here to stay. So you may have noticed that I took a little bit of a break. A bit over a month, which is insane. For a myriad of reasons, like I didn't plan this, but yeah, life just got crazy for a bit there. We were going through some personal issues, some health issues, and then I was away on holiday. I was with friends for a while and then I went to go visit family and then the uh, good old Pandudu, yes I did steal that from Naomi, decided to come back and just have a little little mess with Melbourne again and then it decided to go away and then it's back and we're in our sixth lockdown so that's great. And because of that, I've actually had a chance to like slow down and sort some things out. I also got really hectic with work for a while there. So it was just like, the idea of filming was just like, nah. I was like, I was coming home from work and just sitting on the couch and just staying there. Not a lot of motivation going on there, but we're back and uh, hopefully here to stay. I missed you guys. And I think that was the other thing. I think I needed to like, my hair is bugging me so much. So this is why I don't bother getting ready because if I come to you looking like shit and acknowledging that I'm looking like shit and not doing anything about it then it's okay but when I try to look nice and then things aren't quite in place it bothers me. Anyway that's not the point. <laughs> because I had the time off I am so eager to come back. I have so many videos planned for you guys. I'm sorry if I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger with the last vlog. I don't think I'm gonna post the vlog that was supposed to follow up that one with it being our holiday purely because I was just terrible at filming. I was just enjoying my time with my friends and and I wasn't thinking about how it was going to be filmed and when I went to go edit it, it was just a jumbled mess. I didn't have an intro, I didn't really have an outro. So if you desperately want to see that, let me know and I'll try and chuck something together. It won't be my best vlog and that was the other reason why I didn't want to do it because I was like, I want to put my best stuff out there or at least as good as I can, so yeah. Probably gonna pass on that one, so I'm sorry. You would have seen like bits and pieces on my Instagram. Hi, if you're not following me on Instagram, here it is. But yeah, sorry to leave you on that cliffhanger. If it makes you feel any better, I had a great time. <laughs> and then obviously going and visiting my parents was awesome. I've spoken enough about that, so let's just move on to the actual point of this video. So I wanted to come on here. This isn't really the type of content I really thought that I'd be making, and I don't know, it's not that it's not my vibe, and it's not that it's not me, but yeah, it's kind of like a personal thing, and I don't think I ever thought that I'd share this kind of stuff but I wanted to talk about goals and resolutions just because I actually do find that kind of stuff interesting and I do watch videos about it and I actually ended up finding a section in my diary that had all of my goals and resolutions that I wrote at the start of the year which I actually totally forgot I'd written in the first place which is kind of good but also kind of bad because I obviously wasn't trying to actively make sure that I was ticking certain goals off and the reason I want to do this is because I think a mid-year check-in is really good because it sort of reminds you of what your plans were and it sort of reignites the passion and the motivation to actually get those goals done and also a year is a really long time as much as it feels like it's going so fast and I don't think you can set goals for an entire year because things change and your mind changes and you have new goals that you end up finding that you really want to achieve so I think a mid-year thing is good so we're gonna look at these assess them and then write some new ones I have quite a few things written down some are pretty general some more specific. I'm just gonna go through them and say if we've achieved them so far. So first I had written was be more positive. I don't really know why I wrote this down but then again when I wrote this it was right after 2020 and we all know how that went so that kind of makes sense. I definitely think that I've been a lot more positive. Melbourne's been throwing a few things at us so I think this time around I've definitely been more positive. I've sort of have the mindset with the lockdowns now of we've done it before we can do it again. As much as we don't want to be doing it again we can do it like we did it for pretty much all of last year so if we need to do it for another month we can manage we can get through it so tick that one off create a schedule Ooh, yeah that's not a thing in my life <laughs> I would say that I could try to create a schedule, especially during lockdown, like it'll be a lot easier to create a schedule. But when it comes to my jobs, I, I work three jobs. I've actually just recently gotten a fourth. Don't, don't even, oh my God, don't even ask about it. Usually day to day, I have three jobs and they're all casual. One of 
them I haven't even been to since May because of restrictions, but they're all very flexible jobs and times seem to be changing all the time and it's just really hard to make a schedule. I think when I come out of lockdown, I think I should definitely try to be more structured, as like as structured as I possibly can. So we haven't achieved that. That is fine. We will work on it for the rest of the year. Also, I am well aware that we are like more than halfway through the year. This is just like a somewhat mid-year check-in. It's a check-in before the end of the year, so it's fine. Get back on track with health and fitness. Again, oh, it's just, I think I was writing these hoping that COVID was just gonna like piss off, you know? Like I was, I was, had very high hopes that it was just gonna sort of be like a one year thing. Yeah, I was wrong. I wouldn't say I've gotten out of my health and fitness. Like I've definitely started getting a little bit more strength back. That kind of helps with the jobs that I've got. I've definitely been eating a lot better since being in lockdown just because I actually have the time to eat. I mean, I don't really remember where I was at at the start of the year. I, it must have been not that great for me to write it down. So yeah, I would say that I've achieved that. I could always do better, but I think I've achieved it. Save money. <sighs> I feel like this entire video is just gonna be like, well, if we went in lockdown all the time, then you know, maybe I would have achieved it. I can definitely say that I've saved some money. Whether or not it's the amount of money that I wanted to be saving, that's a whole nother story. I've definitely achieved it because I've saved some money, but the fact that I haven't been earning as much money as I would have liked to have been doing because I'm unable to work right now, that kind of skews things around, but technically I have achieved that. I would like to save some more money, but we're doing the best we can with what we got. Move out. So I had a plan, right? I had a three year plan. I moved out of my parents' house when I was 18 and I'm currently renting off other family, but I want to be in a position where I have my own house and something that I can call mine and I am fully independent. I am just in charge of everything. And it might sound crazy, but this has actually been a goal of mine since I was 12. All I've ever wanted was my own house. I just crave that independence. I crave having a home all to myself, obviously with housemates, because I won't be able to afford one all by myself, which I'm totally fine with. I'm so excited to move in with friends, but I want to be able to decorate it how I want. And I want to be able to have friends over whenever I want, have parties and just like, just be what I think of when I think of as an adult. And if you don't already know, I have a dog and he's currently with my parents in Tassie because I can't have him at the place that I'm living at at the moment and lifestyle wise it just wouldn't work because he'd be left at home a lot and I just don't think I could support him financially. So what comes with moving to a new place is my dog. Again, because of everything that's been going on in the world right now and not being able to earn enough and not having like a stable job, that's not gonna be achieved. And I'm not gonna lie, it's upsetting. I mean, I made this plan when I was still in uni. I was gonna be doing my third year of uni this year and I thought as soon as I'm done with that, I can get a full-time job and I get my dog. It just wouldn't be smart to move out right now. Like it's doable, I can do it. But financially and stability wise, I just don't wanna risk it. So unfortunately, that is one that will have to be on the list for next year. This one makes me a little bit sad to read. It says, be happier. And if you know from my New Year's vlog, I was not in a great place. I had to be making a big decision about what I was gonna be doing with uni and then having to figure out what I was gonna do with my time. And yeah, I was really, I guess, sad. <laughs> to put it in a simple way. And I was really unsure about a lot of things. That's okay. And I worked through it. And I would say I'm happier. Like I'm a happy person. I've got things to be happy about, but I think I'm a lot more sure of myself, which makes me happier. So yeah, we'll tick that off as, a, as accomplished. All right, I've got two more to go. Stay with me. <laughs> Take more photos. I actually loved this resolution and it is something that I can tell you right now, I've ticked off. I was realizing that I didn't have a lot of memories to look back on, especially of myself. Growing up, I was always that kid who never wanted to be in the photos, which sort of aligns with the whole not great mentally and not very comfortable in my body and didn't really want to have photos of me in the place that I was with my body. So there's a lot of like, deep meaning sort of side of not having a lot of photos, but I was realizing that I didn't have photos of me at certain times in my life and, or, or at least I didn't have enough to look back on. And I was sort of like, I wanna be able to look back 30 years time and be like, 
this is what I looked like in 2015. This is what I looked like in 2013. This is what I looked like when I was 20 and, you know, living out of home and hanging out with my friends. I've just always been the photographer. Like, I've always been that person who takes photos for other people and just never really wanted photos of myself. So, yeah. For memory's sake and for looking back on things, I just really wanted more photos of myself and my friends and things that I was doing. And if you scroll back on my Instagram, you can definitely tell that I have achieved that. And even things I haven't posted, like I've got so many more photos of myself and my friends and the people that I love. If you're someone who doesn't take a lot of photos, definitely put this down as resolution because I am so excited to look back on photos. Lucky last. <laughs> Spend more time with friends. Straight up the bat, I can tell you I have spent a lot more time with friends. I am a very social person. I always like go out of my way to spend time with friends but I think last year I was just so eager to be making money so that I could move out. I just wasn't taking the time to be with friends. Especially after you know being in lockdown for so long I was craving seeing friends and I was like as soon as we're out of this I'm taking advantage of that and I am just spending my every spare second with friends. So I think I've definitely done that and again this lockdown I am craving to be with friends. I'm literally like messaging all my friends being like when we're out of this we're doing this. Like I am so eager to just do everything with friends. So yes. Long story short I have definitely achieved that and I will continue to achieve that. I really should have planned this next section of the video before I sat down but I thought it would just be fun to just sort of like come up with things together and also whatever goals and resolutions I come up with now aren't set in stone like I'm definitely gonna be adding to them especially if you guys have some good suggestions so for the rest of the year I want to make some new resolutions and sort of swap out the ones that I've already achieved some of the ones I'm definitely gonna keep in there create a schedule I not so much create a schedule but I want to have more structure I think I'm gonna swap that out I think instead of creating a schedule that is like day by day hour by hour. I've never really worked like that. I think I want to create more structure. I want the kind of structure where I wake up decently early, work out in the morning because I've found that I actually get more motivation from that and also we're coming into summer so it's going to be a little bit easier to get up when it's not so cold and then have my day start more productively. So that's definitely one that's being added. Another one I'm keeping is obviously save money. I need to save money as just a human being and being able to afford things. As much as I think that I have achieved getting back into my health and fitness. For me, it can always be better. I'm actually working on that right now. I have been making sure that I'm working out at least three times a week, just because that's all I'm motivated for. It would be nice to do more, but I'm just taking it easy. I'm taking it one step at a time. So at the moment in my head, I'm thinking I don't need to make that a goal. I'm already doing it, but just as a nice reminder and a nice thing to like keep me going with that motivation, I'm gonna put that one in as well, just because it's definitely something I care about. And again, could be better. Another one that I want to add, which I am a little nervous to put on the internet, is I want to get to 100 subscribers before the end of the year. It's been my goal since I started this channel and I've never actually said it out loud and I've never written it down and I think that when it comes to manifesting, if you do that, I really don't know that much about it. If you know how to manifest, please let me know because clearly it works for a lot of people. Yeah, I just really want to get to 100 and that may seem like, oh, she's number driven. I'm really not. I just want my videos to be put out there to more people. I just want more people to experience it, more people to feel what I want them to feel from my videos. And I just think it would be really cool to have 100. So make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're not already because that'll help me achieve my goals so let's help each other yeah i'm doing this video for you to help you so you can help me it's a win-win for us all that is about all that i can think of right now if you have any suggestions for me or if you want to make your own resolutions make sure you put it in the comments below i'd love to have a chat with you i hope that you got something out of this video i just want to add that it's taken me a really long time to actually do goals and resolutions. I was definitely one of those people who either didn't make them or made them and put myself down if I didn't achieve them. And it took me a long time to realize that it's okay if you don't achieve them. Literally all they are is something that you've written down on a piece of paper of something that you'd like to change or achieve. And just because you didn't achieve something in a certain amount of time doesn't mean it can't be achieved. 
the fact that you've written it down is one step closer to getting to your goal. So I think when you're making these resolutions and you're making these goals, just keep that in mind because I know how hard we can be on ourselves when we don't make those goals and I've been there. But that's another thing what I think is so great about doing mid-year check-ins is just to remind yourself what you want, sort of check in to see if you're actually working towards them and sort of reassessing if those still matter to you. I think that's all I have to say about that, so that's it. Thank you.